Hi, I'm Tom Prager. I've had a long-standing interest in ultrasonography that even preceded my having white hair. While we're going to discuss B-scan and immersion biometry, the bulk of today's discussion, along with video vignettes and the still picture library, will cover the UBM, or ultrasonic biomicroscopy, or high-frequency ultrasound, and its usefulness as a diagnostic tool with a lot of clinical applications. With the UBM, you'll be able to look at very subtle details of the anterior segment. And also, when paired with the clear scan cover, a single-use balloon appearing accessory, you can look at lesions on the side of the eye, directly on the eye, back about 10 millimeters or so, as well as look at subtleties in the anterior chamber. This is an FDA approved device, and it makes the old shell and gel technique obsolete, as well as providing advantages of sterility and comfort. I think the biggest use of UBM is going to be in the glaucoma patient, where you can visualize the angle, the scleral spur, and also structures back behind the iris, such as the ciliary body, to denote whether it's rotated or not. These will help in your treat treatment decisions. Um, inspections of posterior structures aren't possible with coherent light technology. The advantage of ultrasound is relatively inexpensive to buy these units. It's a fast setup, and you can look back behind the eye. So, I want you to consider using the UBM for sulcus to sulcus measurements, for implantable contact lenses, as well as for determining the presence of synechia, cysts, clefts, retinoschisis, and melanomas that may have invaded the ciliary body. We hope you enjoy this video.